Hello, I'm Robert Beatty, a New York Times best-selling author. I've been published since 1968. 1974, I was a newspaper columnist. I also wrote my first novel that year, 1974. This is 1965 book, although it was finished in 1964. Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer. A manual for the author writing in today's market, Dwight B. Swain. It's primarily about writing fiction short stories for magazines. That was the market, 1964, when he finished writing the book. In fact, this was the third in a series. can write anything from a short short to a trilogy if you possess the brains God gave a grasshopper and understand the basic processes. Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer. Dwight B. Swain. This manual offers beginning writers up-to-date information on how to write fiction, especially for magazines. This solid information is intended for people who want to write to sell fiction, not just talk and study about it. In a real sense, this manual is the natural successor to writing magazine fiction and writing advice and devices since Dwight V. Swain studied and worked with W.S. Campbell, author of those two classics, in the field of fiction writing. Uh, I'll come back, but... In brief, I have those two books right here. There's Campbell's Writing Magazine Fiction. That's published in 1940. And this is Writing Advice and Devices, Walter S. Campbell, Doubleday. That's published in 1950. So this is the third. It is the natural successor to writing magazine fiction and writing advice and devices. Swain's book published in 1965. And he's writing it July 14th 1964. Fiction. Plain facts about feelings and so forth. Um, so here we are in uh, uh, Conflict and How to Build It. Page 103. Techniques, tricks and techniques of the selling writer. So... Talking about, it is a decision, a new goal for John to strive towards and count on it. Conflict will inevitably follow. At least it will if we make proper use of our scene pattern. Reaction, dilemma, decision. All the parts are there. It's a sequel. Scene and sequel. Search for a goal then the struggle to attain it. These are fiction's two basic units to lay out a story, repeat the pattern to fill the desired length, scene, sequel, scene, sequel, scene, sequel. Can you begin with sequel? Yes, of course. These are the basic tools. They work. Practice them every chance you get. Goals, conflicts, disasters, reactions, dilemmas, decisions. All right, that is in the book that was published in 1965. Now, I mentioned the uh, uh, Walter S. Campbell's book. Writing, Advice, and Devices, Walter S. Campbell. Writing, Advice, and Devices, Walter as Campbell published 
copyright, 1950. Until, um, until Swain, apparently. I don't find any other. The scene had five parts. Scene, a unit of dramatic action, like a round in a prize fight. It follows a definite formula as follows. This is page 91, Campbell's 1950 book. Meeting. Purpose. Encounter. These are conflict. Final action. Win, lose, quit. Sequel. State of affairs. State of mind. I've read these books several times. This is what they talk about. Campbell, 1940, this is also in a 1940 book. Um, meeting, purpose, encounter, final action, and sequel has two parts. State of affairs, state of mind. State of affairs, state of mind. Swain, 60, when he finished his book, was at 64. Goal, conflict, disaster, sequel, reaction, dilemma, decision. Different words for the most part, but discussing the same thing. Six parts in fiction writing. These were both for writing magazine stories, magazine fiction. Campbell's book, Writing Magazine Fiction. Writing Magazine Fiction, Writing Magazine Fiction. Nineteen forty by Doubleday. To Foster Harris, he has two books, at least two, I have uh, of his. Basically, I say the same thing. Uh, channel, or chapter 3, The Scene. Let's go there. Chapter 3, The Scene. Disaster. This is 1940. Function of a scene is to reveal character and advance the plot. A good scene gives a blow-by-blow -blow account of the conflict. The scene enables the writer to objectify the problem. The scene is the means by which the author shows the reader and avoids the fatal mistake of telling him what happened. They go into a great deal about summary as opposed to seeing all these books on writing back in the 40s and 50s do this. I'm going to show you in a minute another book uh, published about the same time uh, by a more famous writer, Phyllis Bentley. And uh, so anyway, the, the here... The same five parts meeting intention or purpose counter final action and sequel they considered this just one unit a scene now they're talking about scene sequel as two units and they've now uh, since at least 65 when uh, uh, Dwight Swain published his book It's also largely what uh, uh, is in Debbie Chester, Deborah Chester's uh, book, The Fantasy Fiction Formula. Forward by Jim Butcher. Butcher here confesses basically to being an imbecile. Uh, you know, he kind of said when he was her student, he kind of ridiculed this 
the same process, seen sequel, and then he became a New York Times number one best-selling author. I did not become a number one. I only got up to number four on the New York Times bestseller list. But anyway, so Shut Up tells you what Debbie tells you to do. And who am I to tell you? I am the guy that took the principles of story structure and built a career on it. So, she knows what she's talking about. She was, uh, Swain was a student of Campbell, who was a student of Foster Harris. Bickham was a student of Swain, and Chester was a student of, uh, of Bickham. They all they give uh, similar but different names to, Swain calls these motivation reaction units. Chester calls them action reaction units. Uh, as you saw, there was, it's still six steps but uh, okay here is 1946 book some observations on the art of narrative by phyllis bentley phyllis bentley i reach over grab this book oh. phyllis bentley wrote inheritance big book at least masterpiece, one of the century's outstanding novels. It's possible you've not heard of it. Doesn't make it less of a masterpiece. Well, this edition published 74, but this was published, yes. First published, 1932. Keeps getting reprinted. The very first television miniseries was an adaptation of Phyllis Bentley's book. There's rumors. Queen Elizabeth II, that this was her favorite author. She made her an order of the British Empire. I don't know, she may have been the first author. She did that. Anyway, observations on the art of narrative. Let's go down. Here we are, page 21. This it goes with scene and summary. And so it goes through this and every other English novel written between 1719 and 1919. Scene, summary, description, scene, summary. That's kind of awkwardly put, but I'm trying to make this a brief. But it's basically saying the same thing that Campbell was saying. Uh, multiple parts to it. You want a scene and sequel. She uh, repeats summary in the sense that we uh, now use the phrase sequel. But she also says, you know, you can't forget to have description in there. Description and narrative. Now, she mentioned Defoe and Wolf, Virginia Wolf. Stream of consciousness is why she said that it's changed in uh, 1919. But uh, Defoe is referring to Daniel Defoe. He wrote Robinson Crusoe. I've studied, made a good study of Defoe. Now, someone's made far more study than I did. In what? This is considered a masterpiece, the rise of the novel. First American edition, 1957. Realism and the novel form, blah, blah. Most scholars of the novel consider Robinson Crusoe the first English language novel. Uh, it was further developed by Defoe, Maul Flanders, then Pamela by Richardson. No, is it Richardson? Yeah. Richardson and Clarissa, and then Fielding, Tom Jones, and, oh, I should have marked the page so uh, that I would remember. Uh, I remember to tell you, though, it was uh, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Most people consider that where the, the real novel, uh, the real English language novel, solved all the problems. Okay, so there's Swain's. Goal, conflict, disaster, reaction, dilemma, decision. 
So I can use that. I'll do some, the one I'm referring to here. Published 1947 in Dime Westerns, Sentimental Gentleman of Death. It was repeated in John Jake's anthology, A Century of Great Western Stories. Uh, and the scene sequel form is completely clear. No doubt about it. And Phipps, or um, Phyllis Bentley also wrote short stories using the scene sequel form. And it's very discernible. In Ellery Queen magazine in 1954, Nicole Conflict Disaster Reaction Dilemma Decision. But in 1719, it's also right there in Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe's in the shipwreck and aftermath scene. So, you know, I should go over this in detail another time, but uh, scene sequel not new was not invented by Dwight Swain in 1962 in his revised edition. Uh, it's been around for centuries, at least three centuries in English. And uh, I will have some uh, more follow-up to this uh, soon.